This wedding was an assignment for my Religion two class in Catholic school. This one's wife. In case you missed it. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. We're into a new month, and Orban and EU leaders to face off over Ukraine aid. That's the headline that comes from BBC World News. There are also the burning prisons, fueled by fast fashion, which are taking place in Asia. Baldwin pleads not guilty to involuntary manslaughter in the US and Canada. India opposition leader is arrested in corruption case. Israelis tell MPs of Hamas sexual violence evidence. The Houthis claim to have scored a hit on a US container ship in the Red Sea. There's an article about injured, hungry and alone, the Gazan children orphaned by war. State of emergency after Brazilian river turns to foam. There's a massive fire which engulfs a Texas chicken farm. Record snowfall blankets anchorage after a storm. All various aspects of the world and the state that it's in at the moment, and more besides. But of course, all of this pales into insignificance. The fate of those in the war between Gaza and Israel, the war that takes place between Russia and Ukraine, that's just a sideshow and distraction. Because after all, what we really need to know about is the subtle change this one's wife made to her face as she plots career comeback. Yes, this is news of moment. This is of sufficient import that the super soraway son, Chloe Morgan, explains to us, no matter where she goes or what she does, all eyes are always on this one's wife. And last week's glitzy appearance at the premiere of Bob Marley film, One Love, was no exception. Ah, still dining out on that. Prince Harry and this one's wife were snapped, posing for a photo alongside Marlene Malahu-Forte, Jamaica's Minister for Legal and Constitutional Affairs, who last year vowed to sever ties between Jamaica and the monarchy. But the couple's choice to cosy up to anti-royal Jamaican PM who wants to scrap monarchy wasn't the only topic that got people talking. Yes, why bother with something that is politically sensitive and of a degree of weight? We're not bothered about an anti-royal Jamaican PM and his plans to scrap the monarchy. Come on, let's get down to the important stuff to deal with this one's wife. According to London-based MUA Jana Gushina, the Duchess of Sussex, who put on a chic display in a stunning black gown, made a very subtle tweak to her appearance. Are you ready for this? As Two Unlimited once asked. She was sporting thicker eyebrows. Dun, dun, dun! Now we're getting somewhere. We don't need to be learning about the Houthis firing missiles at ships or the fate of Gazan orphans. That's just mere frippery. We need to get down to the good stuff, the matters that are so important, such as the fact that this one's wife was sporting thicker eyebrows. Go tell everybody that you know. Cause them to listen to this video. Cause them to find the original news item. Cause them to find the picture so they can look upon her thicker eyebrows and go, Lo, for I have seen the thicker eyebrows, and all of a sudden her thicker eyebrows brought calm into my life. It was as if ambrosia had been fed to me, and it soothed my fevered brow. Yes, for I am blessed by the appearance of the thicker eyebrows. My mortgage woes have fallen to one side. My children now will grow up in a stable and peaceful land for knowing that this one's wife has sported thicker eyebrows. The wailing and gnashing of teeth as man fought against man matters not, 
for the thicker eyebrows have been sported, and there was great rejoicing amongst the people. While she was starring as paralegal Rachel Zane in Suits, she wasn't the star, like many of us, she jumped on the 90s overplucking trend. Well, I can safely say there was no overplucking on the Tudor eyebrows, and proudly rocked a much thinner and sparse brow. Hmm, fascinating. But more recently, she appears to have adopted fluffier and fuller brows that are thicker and more defined. Well, heavens be praised that we know that she has adopted the fluffier and fuller brows. Let us break out our finest cheeses and wines and celebrate that her brows are thicker and more defined. Let us build monuments to her greatness of her thicker eyebrows. Let it be decreed that each town and city allocates a section of its budget. It doesn't matter that these are constrained financial times. They must find from their budget the money to produce a statue that is placed in a prominent place within the civil domains of the parish or the council's area, within the county or the state, that shows the world, this is this one's wife, and she sporteth the thicker eyebrows. It appears that this one's wife has embraced a fuller eyebrow look, achieved through a technique known as powdering, a form of microblading. Yana, the founder of beauty hotspot Brofeek, told Hello! magazine. Ombre brows, with their gradual colour transition and soft powder finish, offer a natural and well-defined appearance. The expert went on to explain that henna tinting, don't think I know her, is another technique that can be used to achieve the look of fuller brows. This type of beauty treatment works by staining the skin to give you tinted hairs for up to six weeks, and it can last up to 10 days, and is the perfect choice for anyone eager to test out a shape before committing to semi-permanent makeup. And perhaps this one's wife may be shaking up her look after reportedly landing her dream TV role and plotting her career come back. The Royal has sent the rumour mill into overdrive in recent days after this one's wife was allegedly being offered a tailor-made role in a suit spin-off series for NBC Universal, which has been written by the original creator of the hit series, Aaron Korsh. According to the Express, the show will feature a female lead who bears an uncanny resemblance to this one's wife's previous character, Rachel. Absolutely fucking fascinating. With all of the shit that goes on in the world, you're treated to news about this one's wife's fuller brows and regurgitating the prospect of her being in the suit spin-off, which she is desperate to do so because she's running out of money. Yes, aren't you delighted that you are privy to the knowledge that she had fuller brows and that she's sporting them and the techniques that can be used to obtain them? This just sums up this woman, doesn't it? All about appearances and absolutely no substance whatsoever. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.